Metabolic syndrome is an umbrella term referring to a number of conditions that increase an individual's risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Hence, metabolic syndrome is not a disease in itself, but a collection of risk factors. According to the NHS, metabolic syndrome can be diagnosed if an individual has three or more of the following symptoms. A waist circumference of 94 centimeters or more in European men who tend to present an apple-shaped body. A waist circumference of 80 centimeters or more in European women who tend to present with a pear-shaped body. High triglyceride levels and low levels of high-density lipoprotein or HDL which is the lipoprotein responsible for removing the excess cholesterol from the tissues and transporting it back to the liver. It is also termed good cholesterol. Having low levels of HDL can lead to atherosclerosis, where arteries become clogged with fatty substances such as cholesterol. A high blood pressure that's constantly 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury or higher an inability to control blood sugar levels, so some sort of insulin resistance, an increased risk of developing blood clots, such as deep vein thrombosis, a tendency to develop irritation and swelling of body tissue. So, having only one of these symptoms does not mean you have metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is only diagnosed if someone has three or more of these symptoms. Metabolic syndrome is usually caused by an unhealthy lifestyle that includes an unhealthy diet, a lack of physical activity, and weight gain, especially around the waist, so having abdominal obesity. Also, it is linked to excessive alcohol consumption and smoking. Some factors that may increase your risks of developing metabolic syndrome also include your age, so the older you get, the higher your risk, your ethnicity, um, Asian and African and Caribbean people are at greater risk, and other health conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The treatments for metabolic syndrome usually include lifestyle changes such as exercising more and more regularly, eating a healthier diet, losing weight, cutting down on alcohol, and quitting smoking. Also, some drugs such as statins and ACE inhibitors may be used to control blood pressure and cholesterol levels. If you've been diagnosed with metabolic syndrome, it is time to take action towards a healthier lifestyle.